In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you the benefits of meditation, how you can meditate, and how simple it is to meditate, even if you've got a daily, you, you've got a busy day, you've got busy daily lives. Just a very simple five, 10 minute of meditation, how you can do it, how you can impact your life, empower your life, and change your life. So I'm Maximilian, welcome back to another video. I help people empower their lives. And a great way you can empower your life is by meditation. Meditation is very easy and very simple for you to start doing. It doesn't take, it doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take that long. A lot of people believe that meditation, for it to benefit them, they have to meditate for two, three, four, five hours a day. That is not true. I myself, I meditate an hour and a half a day. I do two different meditation sessions, sometimes three, but I've got a little bit more time. And I completely understand that not everyone has, has as much time as I do. So. The easiest thing you can do when I didn't have enough time was even when I was working nine to five and I was always up early um, doing my thing, I still meditated twice a day. I still did my 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening. So it's more than possible and it's very easy because you don't need to do anything. You literally just sit down. It doesn't cost a thing. Like what I'm doing right now, that's all you have to do. So, the key with meditation, there's no such thing as a bad meditation session. You can't have a bad meditation session. Session. You can have an unpro or a not so great meditation session, or a good one. And it just takes practice. Now, you can come into it, and you can do it very quickly, and become very good at it very, very quickly. This doesn't, you don't have to do this for years and years and years to become, to have a benefit. To become great at it, you have to do it for a long time. But just to gain the benefits, gain the mindfulness, gain the health, gain the energy. You just have to do it. And that's what it comes to. Now, the first, the first time you do it, you're gonna wanna get up. You're gonna wanna get moving. But no, nothing, absolutely nothing, will benefit you more than controlling your mind. We are not our body, or controlling your body, sorry. We are not our body, we are consciousness, we are the mind. We're not the brain, we're the mind. Consciousness. So for example, if you said right now in your head, if I said right now, I said my name is Max in my head, whose voice is that that you're hearing? Because you didn't say anything, but you heard it. Your ears didn't hear anything, but you heard it. So what you have to understand is that we are consciousness, we are not our body. When you can control your body, you can sit yourself down, you can tell yourself to sit, tell yourself to stay, and not allow yourself to get up and if you, if you want a drink of water, you can have a drink of water after. If you want some food, you can have your food after. If you need to go through Instagram, it's probably something you need to stop. <laughs> we don't need to, <laughs> but we don't, we don't need to go through Instagram. It's something that we can all do. It's perfectly fine. I do it, but we don't need to do it. It's not essential, unless it's your business, obviously. So, easy, very easy, simple things you can do for meditation. Now, there's, very, there's many different things that you can do. Now, if you find yourself a very more active mind you struggle to concentrate for a long period of time you can do such thing as a walking meditation now all it is is just being mindful of your breath being mindful of every step and literally just deep breathing through the diaphragm so as you breathe in your belly comes out it's very simple you can do it very easily all you have to do is get up and start walking now, I listen to meditation music if I do this. I don't tend to do this as much. I do mindful meditation, which is just complete sitting still. Um, listen, sometimes listen to guided, sometimes listen to music, sometimes with nothing at all. Um, depends on how long I'm doing, but don't have to start off this way. When I first started, like I said, 10 minutes, that was all I needed to do. And make it into a little game. Every morning, pick one time out of the day. Just start off with one time. Pick one single time that you want to do it. Set yourself an alarm because we are habit, uh, creatures of habit. If you can set yourself an alarm, just like the, the study with Pavlov's, Pavlov's dogs, where he rang the bell and every time they got, they got meal or they got food or whatever it was. And every time after that, whenever he'd ring the bell, they'd run to the table expecting their food. Why? Because they're conditioning their mind. So if you can condition your mind by setting an alarm every single day to go off at the same time, whether this is in the morning or in the evening, just to do your meditation, eventually this will become a habit. When it becomes a habit, it becomes you. You are your habits. Now, when you end up portraying all your habits into your daily life, this is where you start to change. We can't change our habits with the same level of thinking 
that we created the habits. We have to change our habits with a different level of thinking. We have to change ourselves in order to change our habits. We have to force ourselves to do it. First, it's uncomfortable. It's definitely uncomfortable. But you will not regret it. You have so many benefits of setting this as a habit. Now, you can cut out old habits. It can be quite hard, it can be quite easy, but if you don't replace them with a positive habit, nothing's gonna change because you will find another habit to replace it. Whether it's positive or negative, that's your choice. If you don't consciously make the choice to make it a positive habit, it will become a negative habit. So, easiest thing you can do, like I said, set yourself an alarm every single time, whether it's seven in the morning, six in the morning, five in the morning, whether it's nine at night or 10 at night, make sure it's at the same exact same time. Make sure you do not miss this for at least 21 to 30 days. It takes 21 to 30 days to create a habit. It takes 90 days to create a lifestyle. When you create it as a lifestyle, it becomes you. It becomes part of your personality. So for example, four years ago, you would have told me I'd be meditating every day. I'd be eating plant-based all the time. Um, I, I wouldn't be drinking or, or taking any drugs or anything like that. I would have laughed in your face. I did it over time. I slowly cut out the things. I slowly cut them out and added greater things in. Now I meditate twice a day for over an hour and a half, give or take. Sometimes an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. Um, I don't drink at all. I eat plant-based. Like That was not possible back then. It's not sustainable, but if you make it sustainable by doing little bits each time, so for example, setting the alarm once a day, 10 minutes. If you don't have 10 minutes, you don't have a life. You need to have 10 minutes. So force 10 minutes. A lot of people say, I don't have time to meditate. Meditation gives you time. Why? Because it allows you to think clearer. It allows you to relax yourself. So you're not all up in arms, you're not all stressed. Because if you think about it, when you're all stressed, you feel like you never have time. There's not enough time to do that one thing. But when you feel calm and relaxed, the day is so much smoother. The day goes quicker, but it's always smoother. So what I want you to do is I want you to set the alarm for tonight or in the morning and make sure you do your meditation tonight or in the morning. Hope you got some value from this video. Have an absolutely amazing day. Keep spreading positivity and keep smiling.